hello! This is Pat with Petresca Papers. I'm out in the Bluebird Bungalow and I'm going to make some more junk, junk journal junk. <laughs> I'm going to call it that to go in my trunk. And I am particularly excited today. It is a beautiful crisp morning for us here in Georgia. It's 55 degrees Fahrenheit and I even looked it up. It said, well my Alexa said, sorry I'm having trouble connecting to the oh, internet. Oh goodness. It looks like an issue with the router and echo device so try restarting them. Okay. Unplug both of them okay. then plug the router back in. Wait 30 seconds. Okay. Once the router is back on and connected oh, to the internet, plug in the Echo device. Okay, I'm sorry about that, but I'm not going to cut it out because it kind of leads into something I have been dealing with. And we'll, we'll get into that as we're just doing some of the creating. Anyway, it's 55 degrees Fahrenheit here and... If you are Celsius, it's 12.7, which sounds really cold to me. But that's all a matter of perception. But 55 degrees is beautiful. And I think today we get up to, I think, 80, which is, is doable. So anyway, back to the reason we're here. I want to make some snippets and I kind of pulled a few out when I was decorating and if you're not acquainted with snippets or clusters they're where you take just bits and pieces that you have and you create just a little focal point that you can put on cards um, tags on your pages and that's what we're doing today and the supplies I'm using I've gone ahead and cut some grocery bag this is the one I used just nothing special and decided that I want to do two and a half uh, excuse me two inch square this one looks a little bigger than two, and it's an otter, odd, odd, odd size kind of, oh, what are you? Let's see. I don't think you really care, but uh, three inches by two and some, okay? I have a three-inch square piece that I'm going to fold over and make a corner tuck. So if it were your page, it would be glued on or sewn on there, and then you can tuck things down into it, which is one of my favorite things to do. It's such a simple thing, and if you've got these made up in your trunk, it's even easier. All right, and then I've got just a three inch square that I may do without folding. Now, if you wanted to mass make snippets or clusters, there's, there's a ton of videos out there, and they're all awesome, and that's what has influenced me from last year when I got bit by the junk journal bug, dare I say. But a lot of what I've seen is how you mass make. I've seen where you even take like a, a piece of scrapbook paper, 12 by 12, 8 and a half by 11, A4, whatever, and just space out where you want to create your snippets or clusters and then just start making them and then you can cut them up, cut them up after you're done or cut them as you need them because sometimes it might be easier for you to store a larger piece of paper in, let's say, a binder that has a sheet protector. Or you take strips of paper and you just kind of 
just do one long piece along without even thinking about where you're going to create. You'd be, be more like um, collaging and then cut it and then decorate it. I mean, there's so many ways you can do this. But today, we're not mass making today. We're just giving you, hopefully, some inspiration that you want to get out and or in or at your table and create. So some of the tools I'm using today or supplies, I have a bone folder, my scissors, glue, I've brought a couple of vintage book pages. They wouldn't have to be just where you've got some print. I don't know if I'll use those or not, but they're here. I've got this little tray that I prepared, oh, I don't know when, but it's got lots of little snippets of paper, offcuts, that I'm gonna try to use. I've got some old tickets. I've got some labels. I've got some butterflies, some st oh, some stamps. Uh, over here, I've got ribbon and some webbing looking stuff. Some dyed cheesecloth. And the way I dyed this cheesecloth was with Tim Holtz Distress ink. I think it was actually the Oxide Distress Oxide. Um, I may do a quick little video on that maybe when we're done. And it gives you just a really pretty um, faint pale color. I've got some pieces of doily. Again, a few more tags. Even have some pearls. Not sure. But these are what I have on standby and I also have pulled some pretty neutral uh what are the what's that called oh come on washi tape and a little bit some of those um Tim Holtz fabric tapes so I'm gonna set these to the side so we have somewhere to work and I'll just slide my tray up there I have I'm I will use my art glitter glue. You could use glue stick or other types of glue and you could actually tack it on and if you wanted to sew. I've got this one that I sewed around the edge after I had glued down a few little pieces and you can see there's not a lot there. There's some stamping. I am not going to stamp today. I don't think I've got some stamps here. I may, I may, and some snippets of lace. So let's get started. Let's do just the small two inch. So I think just for interest's sake, I am going to go ahead and ink it. And I think that I may get inking out of the way. So while I'm inking, I want to tell you about my adventures at the end of the week. So last week when I did the video that I posted with the pockets with the paper clip, I went in to the house and started uploading. And it's not a, a new thing that I get frustrated when I'm uploading a new video, but for some reason it was the straw that broke the camel's back. It took me six hours to upload onto my YouTube channel the 20 some odd minute video. It's like watching paint dry. It was so frustrating. So I decided I was going to, oh, it, and then, then, and I was still uploading, the mail came and there was an envelope from my current internet provider and another company. 
and I decided I'm just going to call this other company and see what they could offer me. Okay, pause that story. All right, let's do this. And I, it's so small, I don't think I need to put any book page on. However, I think I want just a little bit for some interest to start building on. All right. And I don't think I really even need to tell you what I'm doing. I'll try to be cognizant of that if it seems like what I'm doing is something odd. Because i got to tell you this story. So I call the other company. And I told him why I was frustrated. And I told him what my... I, had, I did a test about what my upload speed was. And it was less than 1 Mbps. I'm not even sure what that means. But I just know it's not much. And he said, you are kidding me. And I said, well, I, I surely wish I were, but I'm not. And he said, what are you paying? And I told him, and again, he said, you are not. And I said, yes, I am. And he says, well, this is what we can do for you. And um, we talked about it. And I really, when I called him, I really wasn't sure that I intended to make a change but after talking with him and he was very nice and he gave me a great deal for 24 months and I said well what happens after 24 months because you know it's that bait and switch that we all experience from time to time and he said well I can't guarantee it but m most of the time if you call us we will we will strive to continue that same price. Now, I'm really not holding out a ton of hope for that, but for 24 months, I'll try it. And it wasn't a contract, so I could quit any time. So, rush to, we're going to fast forward to the part where I get to, to do an experiment on on uploading and it was that was I think it was Thursday I instigated the change and it was Saturday when my equipment came and Saturday the <laughs> the meltdown came but then it was all fixed by 11 p.m. I thought that's not too late so I decided I was gonna upload and try that same video that I had uploaded prior. And you guys, it took 15 minutes. So I was a happy, happy camper. So that being said, we may see more videos from me. I hope that makes people happy. It may not, and if it doesn't, then I guess you probably aren't even watching this. All right, I'm going to take, let's see what else have I got down in here. I'm going to keep these fairly simple. I think a little stamp. No, let's just do a butterfly right there in the center. Because if you keep these simple enough, when you are doing a certain theme of your book, your junk journal or a page you can open it I mean you can create more on it so I'm just going to keep that one simple we may come back and add something to it and as I'm looking at this it would be fun to as we were creating this to even tear it let's do a quick one with a torn edge Okay. Anyway, so today I'm really excited to re really upload a video. Well, this bag does not want to tear just on that little tiny edge. You are really a strong bag. Let's do that one. 
and maybe we'll make it a little smaller than I was going to originally. Okay, so if we do this, we hardly even need our scissors, but we do need to do some distressing to, to give it just some definition so that it's just not floating out there. All right, and this one, I think, I have this, we'll put this little piece of book page on. And let's do a stamp. Too big, there's one right there. And I think that I'm going to do a staple. So let's do the stamp and boy, that ribbon just doesn't quite fit with our very austere look that we have. Let's use this piece, uh, some of this ribbon right here. I don't want to, do I want to use, no, nope, I don't want to use the whole piece of ribbon. Do that and that. Oh, you need to be distressed. Sorry. Okay, so that and that. And well, let's put the stamp right side up and let's grab another little butterfly. Put him up here and we're just going to grab. I do have the Tim Holtz tiny, tiny attacher is what I think it's called. Oh, you know, let's give this butterfly just a little around his edges just to cover up all that white where he was fussy cut out. I think I did this butterfly on my Cricut and it did, it did fairly well. Fairly well. All right, right like that. And we're just going to reach in. And let's just hope that I have staples in it. Yay! There. And I should have put something else on top of that staple. But let's see, what could we put on top of that? That is small. What, what, what do I have? I should have done the staple going longwise and I could have put some pearls for his body. Well, oh, do I have a tiny, a tiny word? Do I have a word? I don't think I've got little words in here. Oh, but you know what? Look at that on this. These are cheap, cheap tickets that I bought a roll of, I think, on Amazon. But I was noticing, you know, when when you go somewhere and there's a little, maybe a raffle or a drawing, you get those tickets. Keep them. By the time they're in your purse or wallet for a while they're going to get nicely distressed so i'm going to do some some aging on this so it doesn't stand out like hello i'm so white all right and let's glue that on right there to cover up that staple got it Okay, this needs something else. There's just way too much space around it. But again, we'll just leave it and we can add to it as, as the, the need arises. And I'm gonna keep this admit one. We could use that. All right, let's jump and do To the corner one. For the corner one, I am going to 
create it this way for a right hand page for the tuck to go there. I'm only going to decorate this area and my plan is is to put a brad in and so I'm going to create it while it's open and then glue it shut. Okay so I've got a little bit bigger space so I think I want a piece of music paper Let's get a nice piece that's got a lot of notes on it. Go right across here. A little distressing on that edge. And let's put it right down here. And I think that I don't care if it sticks up a little bit, I just won't glue it there. So let's use our thumb as a guide where we don't want to glue. Let's glue that down. And there. And I hope everyone is well. I hope you're feeling some seasonal changes that make you happy. I hope that things are going smoothly for you. If you've got kids back in school, you may be doing the happy dance or the sad dance. I never did the sad dance. It was always rather a happy dance that I did when my six kids were all back in school. But, And I want to thank you for watching and subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, hit that button and subscribe. Hit the bell so that you'll be notified when I get a wild hair and come out to the Bluebird Bungalow, which is my crafty haven. It's just out in back of my house. Love it. And I hope you will come back often because I dearly love it and I love it when you comment. All right, so now I'm just kind of layering on. This is a bit of think it was avocado dyed paper which turns this beautiful kind of pinky uh, pinky beige color I do kind of want to use one of these this is a little flower oh, I'm not going to cut off that netting that would be silly I do think that I may cut, I don't know if I can just cut off that, now nah, we'll just leave it, that little sequin I was thinking I would cut off, but I think I'll keep it there. And what else do we want? What else, what else, what else? It needs a piece of ribbon or something. Oh, I know. It can use some washi tape. I have a piece of washi tape here that kind of looks like ribbon. I'm not happy that it's not distressed. I've never distressed washi tape while it's not on my project, but I imagine this will work so it's not so stark on that edge there and let's tear I think we'll just let me just do that again this is just me playing guys I don't have really a conceived idea what this is going to do or be like uh, do I have a label in here. There were some labels in here, but they were bigger, I think. Let's see. Oh, here's a good label. This is one of Tracy Fox's labels, I believe. She's got a great digital kit. It has lots of small labels. 
let's see, bottom, the side. I think I'm gonna put it on the side here. And uh, let's see. So that's where we're at so far. And something in the in the two corners. I think I need to look how neat that looks without the off the page though. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna tear down that little angle and am I? Am I? I don't know. Let's try it a little smaller. We'll do that and we'll let that hang up there and if we don't like it we'll take it off after. Let's do a little of this. Right. Let's just put some, you know it pretty much covers this whole area so we'll just put the glue on ahead of time. Turn that off. We may not. And let's put distress this first. So it's kind of beigey. And just pull off that little piece that we're going to put there. All right. Still want to use this, but I want a little brad on here. Use my little brads. No eyelets. There's one. Let's grab. Let's see, do I have different colors in here? Nope. They are all the goldy brass ones, so that's okay. And I think that we will use the brand to do what? It kind of needs to have a little bit of function. What could we use the brand for? Well, we will use it just for a small bit of paper. That's good, that's good. All right, and I don't think that it's going to easily go through everything, so I'm going to carefully, there we go. A little hole and slide that in there like that and then open it up on the back. Okay. All right. And then let's let's do that. All right. And I probably should get out my Fabri Fix. Let's just turn that little piece of paper that way. But I'm going to let 
art glitter glue. Do that. Now, it still is rather plain. There could be more added to it. But I think that we're going to call that good. And I do think I'm going to trim these two off there so that they're not hanging over. And then just do a little bit of gluing in here. Okay. And that's ready to go into our trunk. All right. Let's do one more. Let's do this big one and my thought is with the big one that size yes you are that it could be a pocket that you when you glue it down you would just glue the three sides and you could slide a tag behind it so with that in mind as we're creating this let's see let's put a piece of washi tape on and I've got this lovely big roll with script on it just right being silly but so tiny you can't really see whether it's right side up or not okay. we'll just down around the back and what else haven't I used like this little blue tag this tag is from my tiny it's not a tag it's a label this is from my tiny labels that we did the hidden paper clips I have one right here to show you. Oh, I don't. Where are they? Must be in a book. But they they come like this, and then you would fold them and put your paper clip. But there's no reason you can't print them and use them separately. And not Sure, I'm gonna glue this one down yet. I think in there. Maybe there. Let's do that there. Let's let's put another piece of music on. Possibly like that. Oh, what else have I got? Pulls in a little bit of that blue. This is just a piece of scrapbook paper. And there's kind of a little stamp on there that can do some of our work for us. Let's tear that top off and do a little distressing around that edge. And we need a focal point. What would be a good, oh, you know what I've got? These I bought, oh, I don't know, ages ago. And they're vellum and they are different things like shells and letters drawings and Chinese writing pages girls what do I want I think I'll just grab this yeah, I should even it out I kind of like the ferns I don't know, do I want, and see a little at the back will show through. Let's switch the 
this around because I like what's on that side of that paper. I don't want it so perfect, so I think I'm going to try to tear it. It's kind of brittle, you know, how vellum is. Let's do that. Try that. The point is, <laughs> you're like, yeah, what is the point, Pat? Is you, you know, assemble just some things that you might otherwise throw out and look through your stash and see what you have and, and make up a little tray or a box. I think I got this tray at the Dollar Tree. And if you're not in the United States, I imagine you get really tired of us saying Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree. But you probably have somewhere near you in where you live that has inexpensive items that can help with organization and, you know, just, just have this on hand. And when you're feeling uncreative, just check it out and see what is in your stash of snippets and make some snippets or clusters. All right. Do we want to get down there? Do we even want you now? You almost seem like an interloper. Whatever that means. I don't think I want to use you. I don't. What else did we have? Oh, we had this number that looked kind of interesting. Let's see. I think it's, oh, here's a small tag. One of Tracy Fox's. Oh, come here, come here, come here. Yeah, we'll put that on there. Almost like it's a specimen. And do just a teeny bit of distress around that edge. I think I'm ready to assemble. All right, so let's glue down the music paper. Something that, um, if, it, if you're doing a larger collage or something and you get everything set before you glue and you're afraid to move it, use your camera on your phone and take a picture so that you'll know where everything goes back. I did that on the something I was doing. I'm not going to cut those off. I'm just going to, I am going to, not gonna, going to just take them around the edges. Let's get this on there. And here. And one of you, one of my very first subscribers. It was so fun. She said, I forgot all about the trunk. So I made another trunk because she had done the trunk where you put in the pages to be, no, that's not one. Where is it? Oh, she did a trunk where she put in journal pages. I can't put my finger on it right now. And so she went and made another one just for some junk in the trunk. All right, let's put you there. Seems weird there. You know, I think... It would be better if it's green. I don't know. Should we do more of this blue? Because I'm thinking... I think so. I don't think it needs to be quite that big, but I sure do like those. We're going to do it that big. We are. So I'm going to add the glue first because it's going to come right through that mesh. And then gently work it down kind of still having some wrinkles because you know distress and wrinkles are cool on your 
on your junk journal, not necessarily on your face. All right, let's get this down there. Like that. Uh, I'm gonna put it straight. I usually want it angled, but we're gonna go straight with this. And last but not okay, maybe we do need a little more right under there. It seems like that vellum, once it got a little damp, it wants to curl. I'll go under there, under there. I think I'm going to use my bone folder to be my finger. And then I won't get it all over and stuck to my finger. And a little on this corner. Okay, and this, did I distress you? I don't think I did. Just a little around that white edge so it's not so obvious that it was cut out. And it is a label, not a tag. I get those two words confused. I don't confuse what a label and a tag is, but I call them various things. All right, that says October 26th. And I think I'm going to call it for that. It can be added to if the theme of your journal is has a, um, a theme. The theme of your journal has a theme. That makes a whole lot of sense. Okay, let me just push things out of the way and let's get our trunk. So we've got this one that can be put on a, what have I got? I'll pull this over again. Pretend this is our, our page that can be glued down on the three sides and be a tuck for a, a label or for a tag. See, called the tag a label. We can do our corner, be glued down on the two sides, and then become a tuck spot. And then we have our cute singles that can be in the corner. This could actually also just be glued down on two sides and still be a tuck. And then our little corner, you could put it even up at the top corner, just as a page focal point, or you could put it on a tag. So now the fun, let's put it into the trunk. Let's open this up and slide down in there and close up that trunk and we're done. Thank you so much today for watching. I would love to see your comments. Give me a thumbs up. It really means a lot. It, it helps to advance my channel so that other people can find it. And I hope you have an awesome rest of your week. It's pretty much the beginning of the week. And I'm so excited. I am going to go in and I'm fingers crossed be able to upload this video and have it posted before I could actually have it posted before 10 a.m. on Tuesday, September the 19th. Okay. Hey, thank you so much. I hope that you find this helpful. Let me know. Have a great day. Goodbye.